welcome to the shift. What up, family? I apologize for the sunglasses in advance. A friend of mine had a birthday party last night and uh, we kind of burned the candle on both ends, so they say. So this just helps me live right now. Star Wars, so crazy. Star Wars was so crazy. It's crazy, you know, when you find out that Luke is Kylo Ren. That's just like the craziest thing in the world. Just kidding, just kidding. That's not the uh, that's not the punch, and I won't give it away. But do go see it, man. That's probably the greatest movie I've seen in a long time. All right. Before we get into anything else, let's announce the winner of last week's contest. Think. The winner is Tucker Robertson. Tucker, congratulations. Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies. Send us a message with your info and we'll get that out to you as soon as we can. This week on The Shift, we are looking at two mind-bogglingly amazing products. We will be taking a look at Rise by Sean Scott. Rise is a crushed and restored effect with a can. And we'll also be looking at the Pantera V2 wallet by Alakazam Presents, and uh, that's also an amazing thing. But first, I would love, I would love to um, to ask a favor of you guys. So Vanishing Ink has this thing going on called the Trickies, and the Trickies is an award uh, thing that they've put together for the best trick of the year, the best download of the year, the best DVD of the year, etc., etc. And I think they're going to start doing this annually every year. They announced the winner on January 2nd, and your boy is actually one of the judges, and coincidentally, one of my products is actually nominated for Best DVD of the Year, uh, Red Pill. I didn't actually put it up there. <laughs> I know how fishy this seems. Um, I, can, I, can, I can say to you with clarity and honesty that I did not put it up there, but I am flattered to be a judge and to be selected or to have one of my products selected. So I guess what I'm asking from you guys, if you really like the DVD and if you guys bought it, I'm gonna leave the link below. Why don't you head over to Trickies and give it a vote. All you have to do is put in your email so that they know uh, that you, because you can't vote multiple times, so that's the only reason. You're not signing up for anything, you're just literally putting your email, pressing a button, that's it. So if you guys wanna vote for Red Pill, that would, that would, that would be amazing and uh, I would be eternally grateful. All right, we got the ugly stuff out of the way. Let's move on to, let's move on to the review. Let's watch a clip of my performance of Rise and we'll talk about it after this. What's up guys, Chris Ramsey here, late at night in my jammies, wrapping some gifts and here's how I wrap gifts. So I grab something out of the garbage. Yes, hopefully I didn't pick you for the gift exchange, but I grab some garbage, some wrapping paper, a ribbon, and some tape. And now I'm gonna show you how I wrap gifts. All right, so now that we've wrapped up our present, we have uh, we have the can and uh, the paper and the bow. We're ready to give it to that special someone. No? All right, check this out, watch this. Look. Look at this. You getting this? go a brand new gift you know what I can't wait till Christmas I'm thirsty now let's uh let's have a sip cheers so that was rise now every time I get one of these uh, products in the mail I always try to come up with my own way of uh, presenting it. Kind of, and sometimes the guidelines are kind of hard because a product is meant to do one thing. And so it was a little bit more difficult trying to think outside the box, but still managed to do it. So Rise is, I really, you know what? <clears throat> I really wish I could show you guys uh, the gimmick and the setup. 
Matter of fact, I'm gonna talk to Murphy's and see if I can actually do that in the future because you guys need to see this thing. It is like James Bond. You feel like James Bond when you have this and when you're using it, by the way. It is the most well-constructed gimmick I've ever laid eyes on. So the effect basically is you stomp on a crushed can, lift your foot, and it miraculously uncrushes. This has been seen on Wizard Wars, Dynamo has performed it, Justin Flom uh, loves performing his version of it. It's a really cool instant thing. I think this is great for not the walk around performer, obviously, because I think it's cumbersome to walk around with, uh, with the setup, but I do think it's great for stage. So if you're doing some promotional thing on stage, or even if you're doing like, let's say a talk, um, and you just want to add some magic to that talk and make it that much more better. So not necessarily a magic show, but if you want to use it as a metaphor for rebuilding the company or something, anything. It's just a great visual piece uh, for everybody at eye level, right? So if you're on stage and everybody's sitting down, it's a beautiful piece for everybody looking at that level. So on that note, I think it's, I think it's amazing. What you get is you get the tube you get the gimmick and you get a link and in the link you have Sean Scott uh, running you through the whole setup a little bit of arts and crafts you have to do and then you're set pretty much forever and man is this thing fun it really really is fun and what's really cool is that this week you guys get to actually win this product one of you gets to take this home which is really cool and you'll see for yourself as soon as you strap this baby on it's uh pretty intense. There was something about four or five years ago called I think Modosu uh, put out by Sean Scott which basically was this however the gimmick is now much uh, much better it's it's more durable more practical and you don't have to wear bell bottoms I guess I could say that right so that was rise I love it check it out on to the next one Next up, we have Pantera V2 by Outlaw Magic, presented by Alakazam, all these names. It's a peak wallet, and it's amazing. Check out the performance. This is actually an outtake from the trailer that we shot, so here's a full performance, multiple camera angles, super, super awesome, and uh, we'll talk about it after this. My name is Chris, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Dave, listen, uh, before we start anything, it's important that you let the audience know that we've not set anything up. This is, uh, I've just pulled you out of the random. Yeah. Yeah? Netting set up. All right. What we're going to try is something a little interesting. Uh, are you a big fan of movies? Yeah. You like movies a lot? Yeah. Okay, perfect. This, this is going to work just great with you. In a second, I'm going to ask you to think of an actor. Think you can do that? Yeah. Alright. There's somebody that everybody knows, not some obscure yeah, independent yeah. actor. Okay. Right? And I'm gonna have you write it down on this piece of paper. Okay. Is that cool? So I'm gonna turn my back. I want you to write down that actor's name on that piece of paper, then turn this piece of paper face down so I don't see it. Alright? And this basically is gonna prove that you've committed to that, you can't change your mind. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. Alright, so go ahead, write that down. I will turn around while you do so. Um Perfect. Once you've done that, you turn it face down? Yeah. Okay. Happy? All right. <clears throat> Here's what we're going to try and do. Well, first of all, I'm going to secure this inside my little wallet here so that nobody can tamper with it. Not me, not you, not anybody else, right? Here's what we're going to try and do. Can you, can you think of a movie perhaps that this actress played in because that's going to help me actually more because there's so many actors we're going to try to narrow it down to the movie and perhaps I can yeah. I can read your your thoughts is that cool yeah okay um, just go ahead and think of the type of movie for me in your mind only not out loud but perhaps say it in your mind over and over again you need to type you need the type of movie like it, it was a horror film or right. romantic comedy or something just just think of the type of film okay. that you're thinking of you have a movie in mind yeah okay I get a feeling like it's like a high-paced movie, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah. Like a fat, like an action movie. Yeah. It's an American movie as well, right? No. But it is English. Yeah. Okay, so it's a, so it's a British movie then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I knew it was like either British, Australian, or something. Okay. Is this is this isn't a recent movie either, is it? No. Would this happen to be the actor's one of his first movies mm -hmm. around that time? Yeah. yeah. Maybe 15 years ago, 10, 15 years. Around. Yeah. 10, 15 years. Think about the name of the movie. Is there another famous actor that plays in this movie that's really famous? Yeah. I think I think the movie Snatch. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Take free time. <laughs> really? Yeah. How does that work? So that was Pantera V2. So Outlaw Magic is this really underground magic site. A lot of mentalists uh, know Outlaw for like the dark stuff, the seancey stuff, things like that. But they also had the most amazing peak wallet, which was this wallet. And it was so hard to get just because shipping was a real nightmare with them. And a lot of people never, I guess, took the chance in ordering this because all the hassle. But it was an amazing wallet. And Alakazam bought the rights to it, produced it, and now is selling it. What are the pros? Why is this better than another Peak Wallet? I think Peak Wallets are great. Uh, there's all sorts of Peak Wallets out there. I think uh, the Seer by Michael Weber is probably the best uh, Peak Wallet out there. But this one is great for different reasons. Once you have them write down the word or whatever, you put it back in the wallet and then you leave the wallet on the table, face up. So you're essentially looking at the peak and they can't see it because it has this sort of, I don't know what you call it, but it's something to do with the wallet where they can't see it if they look at it and you're looking directly at it and it's amazing. You feel like you're getting away with something and you are literally under their nose the whole time. So it's, I love it for that aspect. There's no, uh, there's none of this or this or whatever. You're just literally putting it on the table and that's it. You can have a look at it whenever you want. If you want to refer back to it, like it's right there. I, I absolutely love that. The quality of this wallet is a one. So I've, I've been playing with this for a really long time and it's lasted me and I've had it in my pocket. I've been sitting on it. I've had it in my jacket. I mean, the, the amount of times that I've used this is ridiculous. And I use it in not only walk around, I use it in private settings, I use it... I mean, it's just one of those amazing things that you can do. Peak wallets are very, very strong. And uh, this one is up there. So, so if you do not own a Peak wallet already, I definitely highly recommend Pantera V2 or The Seer by Michael Weber. I recommend that as well. Even though Mer Murphy's Magic doesn't carry it, I still highly recommend it. I think it's amazing. So one of those two, pick those up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for me this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys all. Go see Star Wars if you haven't seen it. It's amazing. It will knock your socks off. And we'll catch you guys next Sunday. Have a great weekend for what's left of it. And peace out.